Now I will talk about the binary search. First, I have to ensure that the set in which I want to search in is sorted according to a criterion, like for example in here according to size. Otherwise it wouldn't work and I couldn't apply the binary search. So let's assume we want to find Theo and Theo is 1 meter and 75 centimeters tall. And the binary search works like this. If I have a set of elements, I will start with looking at the median element. In this case, this is Hans. Hans has a size of 1.60, so he's not the person we are looking for. And now we can see that if the list is sorted, which is the case in here, we don't have to search the area to the left of hands. We only have to search in the area to the right of hands. That means Lisa, Peter and Tom are not relevant. And we only have to deal with Anna, Fred and Theo. And again, we take the middle element of the remaining elements And in this case, this is Fred. And we can see Fred is 1 meter and 70 centimeters tall. And again, we can say that we don't have to search to the left of Fred, because we already know that Hans isn't the right person. We only have to search to the right, and there only one person remains. And now we find Theo as the first person which we wanted to find with 1 meter and 75 centimeters. And every time I am checking if the correct person has been found, I can either exclude the left side or the right side from my search. When I started with Hans, I excluded Tom, Peter and Lisa which means with every step I exclude half of the persons in the list. So I can say that I repeatedly exclude half of the elements in the list until only one element remains. And if we work like this, we can think how many steps do I need to exclude half of the elements with every step until one element remains. Then we know we have a complexity class of O of the binary logarithm of n. Because the question is, to which power do I have to raise 2 until I reach an amount of n persons? And in this case, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 persons. That means in the worst case, I need three operations because two cubed is eight. So we have to look three times. And then we have found the right person. And that was the case this time. First, I looked at Hans and excluded these persons. Then I checked Fred and excluded Anna. And with the third step, I have found Theo.